fans dissecting Travis Wilson's six interceptions tonight. The question being how much he's to blame for each and every one of those mistakes that proved costly. Five of the interceptions coming in the second half. And so regardless of, of where you assign the blame for those turnovers, they're the reason Utah lost the game. This defense played well enough for Utah to win, particularly when Keith McGill's interception return for a touchdown provided Utah's only touchdown of the second half. And so you had to like what Kalani Sataki's defense did in the second half in particular, adjusting well. They did give up the 36-yard by Brett Hundley on the quarterback draw for a touchdown, but otherwise played very solidly. And And I would say that if you had told the Utes that 35 points would win this game, they would have liked the offensive chances of producing that many points. And and so they'll obviously have to regroup now and, and figure out how they can avoid making mistakes if they have, want to have any chance of beating a team like Stanford, which – as long as the Cardinal beat Washington on Saturday, we'll come in here next week with a top five ranking. Yes, Travis Wilson turned the ball over six times. Yes, Utah lost 34-27 to UCLA on Thursday night at rice Eccles Stadium. Still, the encouraging sign has to be that the Utes controlled the second half defensively, dominated UCLA in the interior, and played its best game of the year defensively overall by a long shot. Keith McGill had an interception, the second of the year for the Utes, and returned it for a touchdown. Jacoby Hale had 12 tackles and two sacks. The defense harassed Brett Hundley, Utes, UCLA's excellent quarterback, uh, into a mistake-prone day, sacking him three times, forcing him to throw the ball away on multiple occasions. Yes, the offense sputtered, and yes, this is a loss, but a defense that has traditionally been very good and very stout and has not shown up uh, for Utah's uh, duration of their Pac-12 stay really play well, especially after being shredded against Oregon State a couple of weeks ago. So if the Utes can play defense like this for the rest of the season, we may see some favorable results. Not all of those interceptions were his fault, but uh, you still have to think the quarterback's confidence is uh, shaken more now than it has been ever, which is not where you want to be going into the Stanford week. So we'll see how uh, the sophomore responds. And that really, to me, is the biggest question going forward for this team.